What's up everyone, it's your boy Sweetener, welcome back to my channel, thank you for joining me today, we're doing a little bit of a time lapse speed build of a new park, King Kong Park, fully based on my new mod World of Kong out to download now in the description. And we're gonna do a little bit of a speed build today, yeah, I know you guys like it, since this is like the, the last one I did was one of my most watched videos, so... That's a good sign, I guess. Okay, let's get into it. <laughs> As you can see right here, I started by putting the arrival helipad on a little bit of an island. Right off the coast of the entire map, I felt like since we're gonna do a whole tour circling the entire island, I figured that we could do a little bit of a visitor area right off the coast, so the visitors can arrive, have a little coffee, maybe... I don't know, go to the bathroom, and then we could follow into the entire tour of the island. Because of the expanded maps mod, some places were hard to build on, so we couldn't place anything from buildings and trees and scenery on them, but we could place paths and roads, so I tried to work around this as you could see here. I went on to place a perimeter fence around the island, or at least the first half of it, so I could have a little bit of a shape to work with when building the first enclosures. I built a little offshore island with the hatchery where we could house the newborn dinosaurs and bring them into the park. I originally wanted to make the path from the visitor area to the beginning of the tour quite of a slope, but then I decided to go on something that looked more of a hike and had more of a natural feel to it. To begin the tour and for the first enclosure on the tour, I decided to go with the Ligocrystus, which were hadrosaurs from Skull Island, and I felt like they were a really nice and peaceful way to kick off. I put down some trees so we could hide our little dinosaur breeding facility and make everything look a bit more natural. With the first enclosure out of the way, I started designing the second enclosure, now for a very small carnivore off the pack. Can you guess which one? While our little Atlapsosaurus is cooking up in the hatchery, I started working on the third enclosure of the tour for the mysterious Stegosaur Atercurisaurus.
I went on to build the next enclosure, fairly large one compared to the other ones before it. I decided to build a little bit of a valley area with some forest around it to house two very special creatures from the pack. Two very iconic animals from the film. Let's see if you can guess which two. Large animals like the brontosaurus usually take a long time to incubate, so while these guys are cooking up, we're gonna hang out with some of our new dinosaurs already in the park. While we're waiting on these big boys, I decided to work on a little coastal enclosure for one of the most peculiar animals in the pack. Let's see if you can guess which one. As we welcome the first two brontosaurus into the park and while we wait for their friends to be cooked up, I've started working on the rest of the enclosures for the tour, though I'm not gonna tell you guys which dinosaurs these are for. Because where's the fun in that, right? Also I just realized my voiceover basically turned this video into an ASMR, which is not quite the demographic I ever wanted to hit on YouTube. But who knows what's in the future for me. But not slime videos, definitely not slime videos. Introducing both an Acidactylus and a Brutornis into their themed enclosures, one that is coastal and the other one that is savanna themed, respectively. I feel like I've done pretty much of a good job. What do you think? Comment below and let me know. Moving on to work on our the Statosaurus Rex, yes, the B-Rex enclosure, very exciting. I have decided to go with a crescent-shaped enclosure that had motifs of mountains, grasslands, and jungles. All kind of are the living areas of the B-Rex in the film and the book. Right here you can see me trying to build some sort of a path for our tour vehicles to go up the mountain into a very special enclosure. But first they will have to go through two very special and interesting creature enclosures. Given the fact that photodons were crocodiles that have adapted to live on land, I still thought their enclosure could use some wetland vibe, so I went with that.
on the top of this high mountain, I have decided to build a little kingdom for King Kong himself as well as the silver ceratops from the book. Both of these are mountainous animals and I feel like they could complement each other very nicely in the same enclosure and create a little kingdom for the King of Skull Island himself. Fun fact, rumor has it that King Kong once told his mother that he wanted to grow up to be a mountain biking vampire witch from the future, but he ended up being the king of the natural world or something like that, I don't know. Placing the aviary for our Terrapus Mordexes in the middle of the tour, as you can see I had to connect the two a path so I could hatch these little guys but don't you worry I deleted the path right after it so we could continue our pretty decent tour if I do say so myself. Seeing how much extra space I have left, I have decided to open up the brontosaurus enclosure so they could have more open fields for their thicky, thicky buddies. Moving on to the two final enclosures off the entire park, both of these belong to the venatosaurus species. The first one would be venatosaurus impavidus, and this little enclosure is based on a really cool image from the book. If I could find it online, I'd pop it right on the screen right now. The final enclosure on the tour belongs to the deadlier and larger version of Venatosaurus, which is Venatosaurus Saveticus. I gave these guys a large enclosure with a lot of forest, where they usually hide from their unsuspecting prey. And there we have it, 15 species, one park, one tour. It's currently 2am and I'm definitely too tired to finish this video. Hey man, can you do my outro for me? Thanks, I'm out of here. Yo, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and check out some of my other videos right over there because you already watched one, might as well watch another one. If you want to subscribe to the channel, you can do it by clicking right there. So please do that because I would really like for you to be here. Please stay safe and until next time, bye bye.